Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Now I saw the um the final episode of the Falcon and Winter Soldier, and this is spoiler free. We're not having a spoiler of it. I want to give people a chance over the weekend to actually watch it today. Um, and then probably tomorrow I'm going to go into it. And then we're also going to talk about the Mortal Kombat. But I want to probably want to wait a little bit, give people time to watch it today. And um, tomorrow we'll um, go over both spoiler alerts. So if you haven't watched it by tomorrow, please do not... Um, jump on the stream because it will be ruined for you but here this is spoiler free we're not going to discuss we're not going to tell you the line the plot line or what really like we're not going to go basically you know um how do i say it i'm tongue twisted because it's early i'm always tongue twisted because it'd be early in the morning um we're not going to go over each scene of what happened to, you know destroy the movie for you Now, part six, we got to see um, the new suit made by the Wakandans, and it was impressive. But first, I have to say, Carcino for Life and LB were right with the characters and Carcino was right where the um where it was finna go and I ain't gonna lie I was I, I felt just like him man it was a little disappointing um to me they should have made They should have made 10 episodes or 12. They should have made they should have made this 10 episodes long. To me, they rushed it. They did six episodes. Um, episode five was my favorite one out of all of them. And then episode um I think it was either episode two or three where they met Isaiah Bradley. That was my second one. And then my third one was the very, very first episode. And the movie showed, uh, the um, film, the series showed um, heart. It showed the black men the black man um, in the black community struggle. Not taking nothing from the black women, but it showed black men struggle and it showed that in the end, you know, if you want things done, you got to do it yourself. You got to be that person to bite the bullet. And it shows you in the real world that a lot of stuff going on in the real world really is the same thing that was going on in this movie. I mean, in this film. I keep saying movie because I'm still, I'm still the day old. <laughs> I still have the hangover of watching Mortal Kombat. But the thing to me is this. It showed you the struggle of the black man, showed you the struggle that we go through in America, and we're still going through it. Look at this BS they got with the Asian thing. They'll pass a bill to protect Asians, but black folks, y'all been doing this for us for damn near over 400, 500 years, and you still ain't did nothing to help us. You still ain't give us no reparations. And this is what it shows you, like what Isaiah Bradley was talking about. 
And Sam even said it. Sam says something very key in there that I love. We built this nation. They built this nation off our backs. And they have. Black folks, we built this nation. And we still continue to be destroyed. We still continue to be shot down. And yeah, we have black on black crime in the community. But at the same time, they're the ones pumping that black on black crime in the community. Because of the weapons, the drugs, all of that stuff that they put there. And then once it destroys the black community, they want to arrest us. They want to throw the blame on us. Black Americans think every day. Black Americans think every day that it's going to be a change. And it's like, no, nah, it's not going to be a change. It's never going to be a change. All you do is wake up, expect the worst, but hope for the best. That's the way it is. They show you their disdain for you. And then once you go out there and prove yourself, like on the Falcon and Winter Soldier, now all of a sudden they want to, now all of a sudden they want to be like, okay, we should have picked you from the beginning. telling you. They don't want us here. They don't like us. But yet, they want to take our music. They want to take everything from us. And what I loved about the Falcon and Winter Soldier Is how you see people fighting against the public and fighting against the government being labeled thugs and refugees and all of this stuff they do that with us today they call black people thugs <laughs> if we dress a certain way or if we walk somewhere we're a thug but a white person could be dressed the same exact way, got goals in his mouth, everything. It'll be the greatest thing to, to God's green earth that a white boy that's acting black and look black, it'll be like, oh my God, this is a new phenomenon. And that's how they are. But this episode showed you that they should have had 10 episodes. I believe 10 episodes would have made it even better. Um, I'll give it um, three stars out of four. Um, it was some parts in it that I felt could have been better. But for the whole series... Well, for that episode, I give two and a half out of four. But for the whole series, three stars out of four. Um, I felt the ending, I felt the ending brought it down. Um, I thought if they, I thought if they would have had 10 episodes, 
it would have been it would have been a four star. WandaVision got 12 episodes because you know that's the white people. But WandaVision had four stars out of four because it was just amazing writing. The story was good, the pacing, and you could do that when you got 12 episodes. So for what the Falcon and Winter Soldier did, they, they did great just to do six episodes. Um, so that was great. I felt like if they would have got 10, I think they could have got a three and a half, maybe four. Some of the plot lines and everything um, was kind of kind of predictable. Like you know, you knew certain people were gonna turn out being who they were. know in the comment section what you felt about it now also in other news This is me speaking real. I want to see how many episodes they give Loki. Because if they give Loki more than Falcon and Winter Soldier, I'm going to be pissed. Because that is... That's messed up how you give the brother his own show but only give him six episodes. When, if you look at the Captain America storyline, even with the Falcon, they had the best movies and best trilogies out of everybody else. This is true. Captain America probably had the best trilogy of everybody. Um, I felt like um, they did it a disservice but overall it was great A lot of stuff in this episode you're gonna you see coming. So now the ending of it, the ending of it was great. I love the ending. The ending was great. Disney to me in this series you know what I'm going to make it a three and a half it was three and a half and you know why because for what they worked with and for what they got they did a great job with only able with, with, with only excuse me only able to use or have six episodes it's crazy And I felt they did a marvelous job, so I give it a three and a half out of four for the whole series. Um, that episode, I give it three instead of two and a half because um, 
it's a part in there that we'll talk about tomorrow that I really love. But but it was great. Um, I hope they give I hope they give him more um, episodes in the future and not just six because to me it was like six episodes I'm like that's stupid <laughs> like how are you going to touch on everything within six episodes like if you gave WandaVision six episodes I don't think it would be good at all it would have been terrible so for what the Falcon and the Winter Soldier did was great um, in the six episodes so I changed my mind on that um, you'll enjoy it um, it's very enjoyable if you haven't watched it, please watch it because tomorrow I am going to do a live stream talking about um, the Falcon and Winter Soldier as a series and then the Mortal Kombat movie. We're going to talk about both. And I'm going to allow everybody to get in and, you know what I'm saying, give their two cents, three cents, or four. So we can go from there. So um, thank you for listening. Like, comment, subscribe, share this. Hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if you like what you hear, you can donate to the page by cash shopping me at the word welcome, the number two, and then HDII TV. Thank you for listening, and we're out. Deezy.